friends, it's Gwen, and I'm back today with an unboxing video for you all. Uh, some of you may have seen this one. It is not super new, but it is new to me. Uh, I've actually had it in the studio for maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and I haven't opened it yet, and I haven't really had a look at it. So I thought we might do that together because I think I want to create with it today. So I thought, why not quickly unbox it for you? For those of you who maybe haven't seen it in detail or are not sure about it, um, I'll share my thoughts. I have purchased these from All About Scrapbooks. It's an online shop here in Australia. And the lady who runs that had a sale, I want to say 30% off. And I had been eyeing this one off but I do have a lot of Pink Fresh Studio products already. But at 30% off, I could get the whole collection. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So we might do papers first. Okay, so let's go through the pattern papers. I did grab the 12 by 12 paper pad stack that comes standard in the collection. So 16 double-sided papers. But I also got these two uh, purely because they were florals. And I love florals and I think I'm going to fussy cut this one out. So I wanted just an extra sheet of those, but I will go through this one. The collection's um, called Some Days. I don't know whether I've actually said that yet. Some Days and it's, for me, it's a collection for everyday moments, which is really all that I scrapbook. Well, not all. Most of what I scrapbook is everyday moments. I, I prefer to scrapbook those little moments that make up life. I feel a lot of pressure when I'm scrapbooking big moments. So um, I just, it's the style of my scrapbooking that I enjoy. Uh, and this collection is gonna be perfect. The colors in this collection are very clean and bright and vibrant. And I love that about it. It's probably, they're probably a bit brighter than some of the other collections that I have from Pink Fresh. And that's why I was eyeing it off. <laughs> um, so this one's all about like coffee, which I don't drink. So I won't be using that side. I will be using the ledger paper, which will be a great background. This lovely floral, really love that blue. So pretty. Uh, and another geometric print for the back side of that one. This one, I love the colors. It's kind of a, a real, sh it shows you a, a, a spread of the colors in the collection. And finally, I have a cut file that's similar to this. I forget what it's called, but it's a Traveler's Notebook one. So I might team those two things together. We will see. Um, and that's the B side, a really vibrant red. I won't read out. I was going to read out all of the names of the papers, but I won't. This one's, yeah, as I mentioned, it's not super new. So I'm sure you would have seen it. I've been, yeah, I, I wanted it. So I'm glad I now I now have it. Lemons, pretty lemons, love that. And this is really nice. I am going to use this as background, I think. I really like it. It's like um, trying my best, doing it anyway, make it happen, hustle hard, A plus attempt. I like that it's about trying because, you know, it's what we're all just doing isn't it I'm trying um okay this is a cut apart one love that i just really love the colors they're really fresh they kind it does very loosely remind me of a christmas collection that they had too maybe because of the red uh that's super super nice their palettes are always so pretty and how pretty is this one it's right up my alley too i can't wait to get creating with this one now this has just got like days of the week, morning, afternoon and evening. So yeah, it's very, it's a very everyday kind of collection. It's not themed around anything in particular, which I really love. That's actually the B side of that. I did not know that. Oh yes, I do have, I didn't notice that until now. That's funny. Uh, and then that's that other duplicate that I have. I think um, that's why I also did get a couple of double of the pattern papers because their packs only have one of each print. And sometimes I need more than one of each print. Oh, you see that one's similar to that cut file too. It's kind of like, that's interesting. Um, I love the pink and the red actually. Oh, that's nice too. 
It's a bit different for me, but I like it. Hmm. Oh, I do get two. What am I talking about? I do get two of everything. Okay, well then some I've got three. I should have noticed that when I ordered it. Oh, well. I'll use them. Yeah, so you do get two. Duh. Oh, well. Yes, so that's a pattern paper. Now, I did get two alphas in this one. I got this lovely pale blue. Really, really love that. And I like how, how thin the letters are. So it's a very fine font. They're, they're like a puffy sticker as well, which I love because you can sew through them. So I wonder if you can see that. Probably, hopefully it's not too shiny. I've got my fancy new background for doing these. So I'm hoping that it will help um, my desk used to be quite shiny, so I'm hoping that this helps it not to be so shiny. Aren't they nice? Yeah, I really like how thin those letters are. Perfect. And how tall, actually. Uh, perfect for sewing through. So it's a really pretty um, pastel blue. And then to go with that are uh, these. Now, I'm not sure about these, if I'm completely honest. Uh, but at the price, I thought, you know what? Why not? <sighs> Now, the reason I'm not sure about them, the reason why I love them is because they're a diff completely different size to these. But they are all capitals, and I tend not to enjoy that. And I'm starting to learn that alphas that have different colours in them, I can struggle with because, especially with letters like E, although this is a lot of E's, which is excellent, if I start using the E's and I mix and match the colours, when you get sort of part way through, you've not only then got to check if you've got the right letters, but you need the right combination of colours to the letters. For example, if that doesn't make sense, if you have, say we're making the word love, but you only have like one L left, which is red, and then one O left, which is also red, but you don't have a red V and a, don't have a red E. Well, you can't make the word love with all red, but then you can't mix and match either because your L and your O, which are side by side, are both the same color. I hope that makes sense. So I've kind of found that it's all great in the beginning, but when you start to run out of letters, you get fewer letters and then you have fewer combinations of colors for the letters you kind of get stuck. So anyway, I don't know whether you found that or whether I've just thought about that too much or what, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just use what I can and then let the others go. And there are a lot of E's. That's so good. How many A's are there? Quite a few A's too. It's really those letters, E's, A's, T, S's. And there's not so many T's. There's a few S's though. So that's good. We'll see how that goes. That's the alphas. I also got the cardstock stickers. I think that's what they call these. Yes, cardstock stickers. Two sheets of those in this pack. Uh, I like how thin these are. They stick really lovely. Uh, that's them there. Oh, what a day. Hope you can see that. Oh, I'm a bit... Uh, out there we are uh, you're doing great let's do this you are here I like that these are really good for layers the rainbow's cute too I know that I will enjoy those uh, then we have the chipboard flare I love these because they're like a flare but they're not shiny and they're not bulky I've also got the chipboard stickers, which we'll have a look at too, I think, at the same time. So the chipboard flare are all circular elements, all the same size, um, lots of icons. And again, it's all just very neutral. Good morning. Oh, it's got the worst. That's interesting because I generally don't scrapbook bad things. I am definitely a glass half full kind of girl, so I'd rather spend my time scrapbooking the good um that's cute though big mood that will be funny for miss c who can't, sometimes can have a bit of a mood that's all right um i like big books she loves her books that's really cute i must have got that for that too 
Um, this must be the place currently. There's no place like home. Yeah, I like them. Oh, some days are tough. That's interesting. We're going to need a bigger bottle. And then there's a wine bottle. That's funny. So that's the chipboard stickers and the chipboard flare. Next up, we'll do the journal bits. So yeah, I got everything in this collection except for the enamel dots. And that was because they didn't have them. So I may end up getting them from somewhere else. I did get a pack. Uh, I asked her to switch it out just for any enamel dots from Pink Fresh, And she did give me... Uh, what collection was that? Keeping it real. She gave me keeping it real. I said any didn't have to match at all. I don't mind. And the blue is the same. The green, not so much. Hmm. Doesn't... Yeah. So I might just try and find the enamel dots for some days. And I have this other collection, so I'll use that for something else. Okay, journal bits. Uh, lots of big... I like to add these in my layers. And uh, I like the idea of these. I think I have in the past thought... I do journal on my layouts, but on the back, so you don't usually see that. Uh, just because I share them and I prefer to journal, my journaling is quite personal. So when you're sharing on social media and that all the time, I don't like to have the journaling uh, be seen. So I do, yeah, I hide it on the back. I usually just write it on the back. So my, my plan for these, whenever I buy them and I have in the past, is to add the journaling onto these so that I can tuck them in the layers within the layout so that all the journaling isn't always on the back. The problem that I see with that is that when they go into the sleeves, the plastic sleeves, if you don't know that there's journaling behind there, so say that sits like that on a photo, right? Say that sits like that. If you don't know that there's journaling behind there, like in, I don't know, 10 years' time, I'm not going to remember, and certainly Katie's not going to remember, you won't know to pull that out. So you kind of need to either, I don't know, put some of the journaling there or put a little thing that says pull out I don't know anyway I so I haven't done I haven't actually done that even though I, yeah I wanted to we'll see I, I'll have to work on that too but I do love them in my layers and I do use them in my layers see that that's like a little so that would be fine that would be perfect right to put on a layout and I suppose you could put it on a layout and maybe put the journaling on this side and then embellish this side maybe I could do that you still don't know that there's they still don't know that there's journaling back there. Whereas at least if I continue on my path of putting it on the back of the layout, then they've all got writing on the back of them. So like you put like you would put, and it makes sense to me, you know, like you find these really old vintage photos and there's always like little handwritten notes on the back of the photo. Anyway. I'm rambling now. That's the journaling cards. What are they called? Journaling cards? Journaling bits. Next is puffy stickers. I gotta love a puffy sticker. Hello, my pretties. Aren't they lovely? So soft and puffy and cute and a super nice size too. Not too small. Sometimes puffy stickers in collections are too small. Uh, that's super cute. I love that. Documented uh, coffee and books. It's a shame it doesn't say tea and books. Because I don't drink coffee. I only drink tea at home. You're doing great, sweetie. See, that's see that to me is a better way to document something negative. Like, see how the smiley face is upside down? Or could go that way, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I like to put a positive spin on everything. Next, we have ephemera. Now, there's two packets of ephemera, which is why I've left it till last. This one is sort of like bits and pieces. Oh, I need a bowl. Let me get a pretty bowl. One moment. Okay, actually, I can show you this. So it's got, I like this. It's got tabs of the week. Um, and so like they're like this for the whole week, which I really like. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I like the idea of that. Uh, stay in and take out, love that. Little bits that you can layer again in within your embellishment clusters. I will often use this 
sort of thing as the base for an embellishment cluster. So somewhere to start if I'm not sure how to get going. So you can layer, you can just start with a, a fairly large piece, one of the larger pieces, and then you can just like layer elements and then go smaller. So you start with a fairly large one, you add a medium sized one, then maybe a little one of these, and then maybe one of these. And then that's how I kind of build out my embellishment clusters. And then I'll add maybe 3D foam behind for a little bit of dimension on a couple of the pieces. So I do love, and I love the different shapes uh, and the different sizes that come in these particular ones. So I love those. There's another bottle of wine. That's funny. Um, hold. That's cute. I like, yeah, how there's some medium, more medium sized ones. And notice, side note, that there's no giant pieces. Because I have another collection that I'm going to unbox with you and it's giant. And I bet you can't guess what, what manufacturer that one is. Um, made it through today. Love that. Love these little, all of these little um, tabs and things. They're really great to add. This must be the place. Little computer. That's cute. Oh, a little, what's that? Coffee. Oh, I thought it was a blender or a um, mix master. That's what I thought it was, a mix master. Mm, coffee. My husband drinks coffee fancy coffee though he's happy with the ordinary stuff happy to be home movie night i think he actually prefers the ordinary stuff um today was a struggle all right there and there's another one of those sunday cute all right so lots of little bits and pieces a couple of floral elements but not too many see that i could use as a tea or like a chai latte i do drink those yes please that's cute um so to go with these because there wasn't very many i did notice there wasn't very many floral elements and you know i love my florals there's a few little bits and pieces but they have a elements pack that is full of florals so we'll go through this one as well i'll leave that there because you know that i don't like to mix my packs up Okay, so florals, I love these. I know these are going to get used super quickly because they're beautiful. Even though I even love their packaging, often I'll use that as a paper layer once, you know, once I know that what's in the pack and stuff and I'm a bit more used to the collection. So a couple of really pretty floral elements in this for sure. And I like that these are a little more substantial, some of them. And they are really good, not only to layer on top of each other, but then to mix with elements from that pack. So I will be doing a little bit of that. So pretty. I love the yellow in this collection too. I have mentioned it before. Big fan of yellow. It's such a happy color. So, and there's not been... Like it's been a little bit of it, but I haven't seen a lot of collections with a lot of yellow in them. So I really, really enjoy it. Love those. How pretty are they? Look at that. That's very sweet. That's like um, Lily of the Valley almost inspired. It's cute. Very cute. Lots of pretty yellow clusters. Um, the lemons are sweet too. I've got a lemon cut file with... Yeah, a cup file with lemons on it. That could be cute. Hmm. I love looking through things like when they come like this and just getting inspired by them and having, you know, little ideas pop into my head about a collection. When you, It could be, yeah, a little simple icon. It could be some words on a sticker. Yeah, I love that. That's cute. Very, very pretty. Yeah. This, the florals are really sweet. How could you not get this pack? This one's really cute. Okay, so before I go, I thought I might quickly show you how I store these. So I do not keep them in these packs. I actually pull them out like this. This bit goes, if I, if I was into mixed media, I would keep this 
and I would use this in my mixed media. Oh, it's starting to rain. I hope you can't hear that, but it's really raining. Um, yeah, so save that if you like to do the smooching technique with your mixed media. But I do keep this part because I do, when I'm diligent, <laughs> when I use elements, I actually cross them off. I don't always do that, but I like to do that. Uh, and then I have a big box of these. These are just your regular sandwich bags. They come from Coles or Woolies. Uh, if you're in Australia, I like these brand Hercules because they don't have anything printed on them. Some of the ones, I think the Coles brand ones, have a band that's white that goes across here. And that annoys me because I can't see all my pretty goodies. So this brand, Hercules, they come totally clear. Uh, and so that goes in there. And the thing I love about this as well is when I'm creating, you will have seen all my layouts are, as I'm making, I put everything back on this little plate. And then when I go to uh, pack up and tidy up, I just go like this, yeet, and then add that on and we're good to go. So that's how I store all of my embellishment packs. And if this happens to be too long, I will, so you say it doesn't fit in the little baggie here, I will just trim off. Usually I try and keep this part intact. So I would trim this off here. I would still keep this in the bag just in case um, some of the times I like to reference the product number. Um, yeah, so I do keep that bit. I just chop it off so that it fits. In it goes and then I seal that up. And that goes all in my, um, all together, I do store my scrapbook supplies by manufacturer and then collection because that's how I scrap these days. Thank you so much for spending your creative time with me. I hope you enjoyed this one. I can't wait to get creating with it. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.